This is Brian Denner here. I'm at the corner of Tabo Canyon and Alamo, and I'm talking with... Marie de Phillips! Danielle de Phillips! Chris de Phillips! Sam Shanahan! And what motivated you to get out here? Hey, we want to take our country back, and we're, we're very concerned about my kids' future, and that's the main reason I'm out here. And I hate liberals! <laughs> so is, the, is it spending? Is it taxation? It's the taxation and spending. It's the big government, which is completely out of control. It's, it's not about government. It's about the American people. And it's about our country. So is it the bank bailouts that President Bush started and President Obama continued? What do you think of those? Uh, El Stinko. They screwed up. Why should we bail them out? No one bails me out if I make a mistake. Why should they be? In the current budget, there's a lot of debate over earmarks. What do you think of the earmarks that Elton Gallagher, our member of Congress, got for this area? You know, I can't, that I can't comment because I don't know all the details, and I don't, I'm not going to comment unless I know every single bit of detail on that. And the, who are some of your favorite local politicians? Right now, politics, uh, nobody, I'm sorry to say, because no, even, I'm on the Republican Party, but even the Republicans are more conservative. Woo! I'm more conservative, not even a Republican anymore, so there's no one really that I can, I can say that I support. Even city council members, mayor, uh, county no supervisor. I, there's no one right now that I'm really happy with. Very few, and, and I'm really bad at naming stuff or anything. But right now, there's not a lot. And with all the spending over the last eight years on the war in Iraq, uh, prescription drug benefit for Medicare, uh, no child left behind, all this spending over the last eight years, what got you out this year? What was the final straw over those last eight years that never got a, a rally like this going? I think I kind of opened my eyes and, and start listening a little more and kind of start coming out of the fog. And I'm, like I said before, I'm concerned about my kids' future. It's like, not so much me, hey, I didn't got much left to live, what the heck. But for them, it's completely out of control. The spending, it's not the way. You don't get out of debt by getting deeper in debt. And I'm not a big politician that could come up with a better solution, but there's got to be something better. In California, what cuts would you like to see? Sorry? In California, what cuts would you like to see? Definitely not the school system, because that's our future with the kids. Um, how about some of the politicians taking a cut in pay for them? You know, there's somebody over there with a the sign, audit the feds. How about them doing that? Why is it that it's always the hardworking people that have to pay for it? So, California, I think maybe some of the politicians should take a cut in pay. They make way too much for doing absolutely nothing. All right, and uh, my last question is, how did you get out here? Like, uh, what websites were you reading or what radio stations were you listening to? Actually, well, who do I listen to? Oh, all my heroes, Sean Hannity and um, Mark Levin, my, oh, Mark, Levin. Mark Levin, all of them. And, and she sent me a website from the Republican um, office out in, in South and She told me about it. I was like, hey, you got to do a little something. you got to so walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Those do sound like uh, Republicans that got you out here then? More conservative. I'll say conservatives, not, not